Hello, welcome guys to this lecture and we want to solve uh, an example so that we can cement what we discussed on friction. So the question goes, a woman pushes a box weighing 500 newtons with a force F directed at 30 degrees below the horizontal. A. Draw the free body diagram for the motion. B. What must F be in order that she can make the box move? So we can tell that from this the box is not moving. C. If she maintains this same force once the box starts to slide, what will its acceleration be? So in C we can tell that the box has started moving, therefore acceleration is not zero. So we have been given take gravity to be 9.81 coefficient of static friction mu s to be 0 0.7 and the coefficient of kinetic friction to be 0 0.4 okay so let's begin so uh no i'm not using my black marker someone has stolen my blue marker okay it's here i think it is my wife who stole it okay so um the first question is asking us to construct the free body diagram. So we have got that box. That is A. And it is resting on a surface where it's being pushed. And the pushing is happening, they are saying, 30 degrees to the horizontal. Then we are told that the weight of this box is 500 newtons. So you remember that it, from circle theorem, grade 9 or grade 12, whichever grade. You didn't pass through grade 12, we'll catch you here. So this is an alternative, an alternating angle, meaning this one is 30 degrees as well. So this is our force. So I can remove this one now. Because I don't need it. Okay. Therefore, um, I will find the components of this force. This is F cos 30. This is F sin 30. Okay. Now, this box whatever this woman is pushing this box is going this way that's the direction of motion from our previous lecture we know that friction is going that way because friction always opposes the direction of motion so friction force will go that way now one thing that we are remaining with is the normal force remember we said if the box is pushing 500 newtons on the surface the surface will also push 500 newtons upward that's what we call the normal reaction force so we have got the normal reaction force here but there is a component of this force f sine 30 which is adding to the weight of the box so we also need to add it so that's how much this flow is going to support it's going to support the weight of the object itself the weight and the, also the weight of the force that is pushing it let me just remind you of what i, what I said in the previous lecture okay we said if i've got this force will this push you know if i've got this force that is pushing this phone in that direction the white body is going to support first of all the weight of the phone alone if i'm not pushing it and also the weight of my finger that's why we are adding this to the weight of the box so the normal here is going to be weight plus f sine sine 30 that's how we find the normal so we have done the free body diagram that's how you do your free body diagram that's Number one. Number two, what must F be in order that she can make the box move? So we know that the box is not moving. If the box is not moving, that is B. If the box is not moving, we know that acceleration is going to be zero. All right. 
So we know that Newton's law of motion, which we have been using, is the force is equal to mass times acceleration. But remember that this force is being opposed by friction. It's like I have got this, which I'm pulling in this direction, force. Then I have got what is opposing it this way, friction force, is equal to the net force, then mass times the acceleration. That's how we get force minus FR is equal to mass times the acceleration. Just to do a revision on the Newton's laws of motion if you are confused on how we come about this when we are dealing with tensions. All right. So now uh, remember that acceleration is equal to zero. So let me just remove this and put it there for reference so that we can use this space for analyzing this question. Okay, so I have moved uh, the, 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 the free body diagram to, to the corner there. So we have got force minus friction force is equal to mass times acceleration. And remember that acceleration, we said acceleration is going to be zero. So if we put zero here, everything this side is going to cancel. So what we will have is a force uh, what we have there is a force. Okay, what we have there is a force minus FR is equal to zero. So this one can cross the other side. It's going to be F is equal to FR. Okay, so now we know that the force that we are going to be using is F cos e, F cos e theta. Okay, my bird is jumping. Okay, let's just fix it. Okay, so um, F cos theta, then F sin theta. So we have got in. Uh, before we even go there, remember that we say the uh, friction force is equal to mu multiplied by normal, right? Yes. And we know that our normal is W plus F sin theta. So what do we have? We have F cos theta is equal to mu multiplied by normal and we know that f cos 30 is equal to mu is 0 0.3 we have been given in the question that it's 0 0.7 multiplied by the normal is w plus f sine e, f sine 30 follow very well so we have got f cos 30 is equal to 0 0.7 by w is 500 plus f is what i'm looking for sine e, 30 now cos 30 if you put it in your calculator is 0 0.866 then you sine 30 is a half so we can write that by saying f times 0 0.866 is equal to 0 0.7 500 plus f multiplied by 0 0.5 Okay, that's more interesting. So now we can open the brackets. This I don't add this and that. This is the simply a number. This one has got an F. Maybe let me just try to, to do that. It will be 0 0.866F is equal to 0 0.7500 plus 0.5F. At least here you can see that the other one has got a letter. The other one doesn't have, so you can't add them. Okay, let me remove what is on top here. I'll just leave the last line here for reference purposes. Okay. There we go. So what do we have? Zero, 0 0.866F is equal to 0 0.7 times 500. It's a 350. Okay, let me just show you something, you guys. You need to go and buy uh, this type of a calculator. It's good for you. Okay, this one. It's, it's roughly 190. Is it? No, not 190 kwacha or 110 somewhere there. It's very good for you. So let's do 0 0.7 times 500. We are opening the brackets. Okay. So that's why I said it's 350. Then we can multiply 0 0.7 times uh, 0 0.5. 0 0.7 times 
times 0 0.5 okay that is 0 0.35 f so we have plus 0 0.35 f so you see that there is f this side and there is f this side so this one can go the other side and it will become negative so we have 0 0.866 uh, f minus 0 0.35 Okay, now again, it's not it's not really necessary. You see that these are two decimal, uh, there are two decimal point places here. Here I've put three, so always just maintain uh, to show that we don't have an issue. So here I'm going to round off to zero point eighty seven. Yeah, so we are going to go with two decimal places. Of course, always read the cover page of your question paper. It's always going to guide you how many decimal places you need to work with. Okay, so is equal to 350. What is the answer there? We use our most excellent good calculator by saying 0 0.87 now minus 0 0.35. Ah, the answer is 0 0.52. So 0 0.52F is equal to 350. I'm looking for F. I'm looking for F. Okay, so F is equal to 350 divided by 0 0.52. It's giving me 60, 73.3. Since we are living in two decimal places, I'm going to say 0, 0.8 Newton. So that is the force. We have solved the B. So I'm going just to write the force somewhere here for keeping purposes. F is equal to 673.08 newtons. Okay, very important. So let's go to question number C. So question number C is saying if she maintains the same force once the box starts to move, or slight what will its acceleration be so here we know that the box has started moving okay we are looking for acceleration so acceleration is what we are looking for so we maintain our equation f minus f r is equal to m a now here i will not go in all these things all i'm looking for is acceleration so i'm going to divide this side by mass and this side by mass so i cancel there so my acceleration is equal to force minus c friction force over m so all i need to do is find what force is find the friction force find mass i'm going to begin with mass weight is equal to mass times z gravity right so i'm looking for mass weight is 500 it's given here is equal to i'm looking for mass times gravity we are told to use that over 9.81 over 9.81 so our mass is going to be we pick our good and excellent calculator we have 500 okay i wrote something else we have 500 divided by 9.81 50.9 okay let's look cool 50 so our mass is 50 point uh, remember we're working with two decimal places so i'm going to use 97 kg so i'm going to write mass here 50.97 kg okay so that's our mass the next thing that we want to find is the friction force remember Friction force is equal to mu multiplied by normal, right? And our mu, we are given that it's 0 0.4 for kinetic because it's moving. And remember, our normal is weight plus F sin theta. So, friction force is equal to 0 0.4 multiplied by weight plus F sin theta. And also, so F R friction force is 0 0.4 multiplied by our W is 500 plus Remember the force is there, 673.08 sine 30. 
So punch that into the calculator. Let's see. Let you know an accuses the teacher. Sign 30 is 0 0.5. So we can simply work out that in the calculator. Very simple. So we are going to say 673. You guys work and let me know what your answer is in the comment section. Sign 30. That's what we have. Plus 500. That's what we have. Times 0 0.4. So I'm finding my friction to be 334.62 newtons. So I'm going to write it there. Friction is equal to 334.62 newtons. Okay. You can pause the video as you are doing the calculations. Right. We clean the board. If it was in the class, the class they would be cleaning the board. Okay. So we have found our friction force to be that. Friction force. Remember, acceleration, how we did the formula is FR over M. So what are we remaining with? We are remaining with this force. But that force is this one here, F cos 30. So acceleration is going to be F cos 30 minus the friction force is 334.62 over mass. But remember, uh, no, mass we already have, which is 50.97. And the F we also have, so we can replace it. So acceleration is equal to 673.08 cos 30 minus C. 334.62 over 50.97. You guys can pause the video and tell me what the answer is. Alright, so for me, after working out in my accident calculator, I found out that my acceleration is 4.87 meters per second squared. So we have found the answer C. This is our C. Okay. So our C acceleration is 4.87 meters per second squared. Okay. A little of consideration uh, here. F cos 30. Don't always forget that we use the force that is parallel to the direction of motion. This one always add to the, to the normal. So you subscribe. You can come back in term three, see what we are doing as you do your, your revision. See you in the next lecture.